Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family, and it's that time of afternoon. I'm getting ready to start dinner. The hubby will be home before long. He's going to be hungry, and I want to have him something to eat. And today, I'm going to make some homemade mashed potatoes. I've washed my potatoes, so all I've got to do is peel them and cut them up. And we're going to have some fried cabbage. And I'm gonna put a little bit of onion and bacon in the cabbage. And we're gonna fry it in a little oil and butter. Don't that sound yummy? Ooh, it's gonna be so good. And then I've got a pot of Great Northern beans that I've got going. And we like those. You can cook them from dry or you can just grab your can in the, um, uh, uh, grocery store and heat them up, put a little butter in them. You don't need to put any salt in them because they are salty anyway. So um, let's get these. You know what? I think I'm going to rinse these potatoes again anyway. And that didn't take but a minute. Just a couple of seconds. So we're going to cut these up, get them on the stove because they'll probably take longer, that in the cabbage. So, but I cut them kind of small and that way they get done quicker. And you've got more surface area, I guess you want to say. And um, so, that, but they'll just get done a little quicker and um, I'll get the cabbage going. Then we'll get these hogs in a sleeping bag. How does that sound? They're just a big, bigger version of pigs in a blanket, which I know most everybody has had. They're delicious. They're wonderful for parties, um, tailgating, whatever little gathering you want to have or go to. They're easy and they quick, but these are too. And you're going to see how easy they are to put together. So you see my potatoes all cut up. They're not very big. There's just two of us, so this will probably be a little too much. But you know what we can do with the leftovers? Yeah, I've seen me make them. Fried potato patties, he loves those. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in them. Potatoes love salt. So you've gotta get them seasoned while they're cooking so you can get all that goodness inside that potato. So let me get these on the stove. Get these cooking. There we go. Okay, so we got that going. Now, let's get this cabbage cut up. I've got a small head of cabbage and I'm just gonna cut it up into smaller pieces and uh, we'll get it over while I'm cutting it up. Let's heat our oil, skillet it up. So we're going to cut this cabbage up. I'm not going to cut it up real fine, but I don't want great big chunks either. I just think it cooks better that way. I'm going to show you about how small I cook it. Cut the core out. You know that core is not easy to eat. The easiest way to cut a core out is cut your cabbage in quarters, lay it on its side, Go down at an angle, and you've got that core out right there. Look you there. And I think half of that cabbage is going to be plenty for us. It will cook down some, but it will not cook away. Look you there. See about how big, and soon that'll break up right there all those chunks, see how they just come apart. So I'm gonna get this over here. And I'm gonna add a little butter into that pan and get it melting. Oh, the butter just makes it good, y'all. And I probably put two tablespoons of butter. And that's that, that's not all it needs and um, Oh, I put 
couple of tablespoons of olive oil. So let's go ahead and put our cabbage in there. Now I'm gonna slice up some onion to put on top of that. I could have sliced it up before I went over there, but I didn't. It, it will cook down with that cabbage and it'll get all that good flavor in here. Look at that. We're gonna come over here to the stove in just a few minutes so you can see all of this goodness going on. So let's clean that up. Move this out of the way. We're done with it. See how long we've been cooking? We've been cooking less than 10 minutes. We've got our potatoes going. We've got our beans going. And we've got our cabbage in the skillet. Doesn't take long to pull together a delicious meal. So next, we're going to, let me move this. I'm afraid I'm gonna knock it over. And y'all, I do not want to mop up water today. That is not fun. Now I've got crescent rolls. You can use puff pastry. Puff pastry is delicious. I've used it, I've used both. Just heat your oven and bake it by the package directions. Mine says to preheat the oven to 375. I put it, it's on 350, so let me move it up to 375, and it will finish heating while we're talking. Bang. And, um, I've got smoked sausage, and what I did was cut each, they were big lengths, and I cut them into three pieces. But what I did was I went ahead and I cooked them a little bit in my pan. I just put them in a little frying pan with just a little bit of water, put a lid on it so it could steam through. I wanted to get them hot inside and cook. Because I was just afraid that it won't take long to cook these in the oven. And I was just kind of afraid it wouldn't, wouldn't cook them long enough to get them done on the inside. So what we're gonna do, so you know they're in triangles, so, but I'm just gonna cut, cut these into the triangles like it, it's perforated. I've actually got um, eight triangles, but I've only got six. Um, Sausages, but you know that's okay. We'll just roll one of them up and just make a roll out of it. But I'm going to lightly spray my pan. I may not need to, but I don't want to take a chance. I don't like to cook something then I can't get it out of the pan. Right. We're going to brush a little mustard on these. Okay. Hey, I'm just using regular old yellow French's mustard. It don't take but just a little bit on each square, triangle in this case. And only need six. Kind of spread it out a little bit. That just puts a little flavor on the inside the stuff. Now, now we're ready to roll. Start at the big end. Roll it up. And, well, oh, come on, what's wrong with you? It didn't want to roll. Now, there we go. And see what it looks like? And put it on the pan. And that's as easy as it gets. That was my oven. Now look at there. Six perfect little sausages. We're going to put this in the oven. How long did it tell us to bake it? It says to bake them at nine to 12 minutes. My oven's a little bit low. Yours might be hotter. I'm gonna start mine at 12 minutes. So now let me get a set up over at the stove and so you can see what we're doing over there, okay? Give me we're back over at the stove. 
and I want y'all to see. I wish I could smell this cabbage cooking. Oh my gosh. Starting to get a little color on it. Let's see, if there's moisture in that cabbage. So as it cooks, that moisture is going to come out. And it's going to help steam through that cabbage and cook it through. Let's see. I've got a towel here. See, see how it's looking already? Y'all can see through that steam. Oh, it's so good. It smells so good. I'm going to put some bacon in this. I'm going to put the bacon in right at the end because I didn't have any bacon to cook. So, you know, real fried bacon. But I've got these bacon bits that I bought that I'm trying to use up. They're real bacon bits. They taste very good. So I wanted to use those up. So let's let this cook for a minute. Move this handle out of the way. We're going to let that cook for a minute, and I'll be right back with you, okay? Our timer just went off, so let's take these sausages out of the oven. Oh my, look at here. See how pretty? Oh my goodness. Those are going to be so good. They're just giant pigs in the blankets on the this. So let's set those out of the way. Our sauce, our cabbage is cooking down really nicely. I'm going to hold that up. I want you to see it. See how that's cooked down? That color. So now I'm going to add some bacon in it. Just add some bacon. However much you want, or as little as you want. Let's just check that out. Oh, it's probably a good couple of tablespoons of crushed up bacon. What did you bring? Didn't have but two, but I brought you a couple of squash. Oh, aren't those beautiful? Yellow squash out of the garden. Look at there. Come right here and say hello to everybody. Look at this beautiful squash. Hello, everybody. It brings me in a couple every day. We just have a few plants. And uh, don't that smell good? It does. What else in it? Uh, cabbage, onions, and bacon. Cooked in a little bit of oil and butter. Of course. Butter, <laughs> butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter. Butter, butter. And we've got some northern beans back here that's cooked with butter. Everything's better with blue light on it. Now we use the real butter. <laughs> and then our potatoes. We're going to make mashed potatoes with these. Good. And they're almost done. So I'm about ready to take this up. And we're going to put it in that pretty little bowl right there. If we have mashed potatoes left over, you're going to make potato patties. What did I tell you? onions. Oh, gosh. What did I tell you? We leftovers make good uh, potato yeah. patties in there. You should have cooked these yesterday. Red. And then today we could have made we potato patties. We could have had potato patties. How about we do that <laughs> this weekend? All right, so let's take this up. I'll get out of your way. You're not in our way. We're going to try this good food here in just a few minutes. I'm going to let him take that up. He is, yes, he is a wonderful helper to me, y'all. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without him. We're going to drain. I help her get rid of the food, too. Okay. We're draining these, I uh, drain these potatoes. So if you put them back in the hot pot, it dries them out. You don't want all that water from where you cook them in there. It won't be good. So let's get this taken up. We're going to move over to the island. I'm going to do these potatoes, and then we're going to get ready to eat. Okay? Let's mash up these potatoes, or we're going to cream them up with our hand mixer. Mmm, it's all smelling good in it. Yes, it is. I bet you're hungry. Yes, I am. I knew you would be. How can you not be hungry when you walk in and you smell all this? I tell you what got me smelling is that cabbage mm -hmm. and these sausages cooking. Might be a little noisy. 
turn that off. See how easy that was. I cooked them till they were real soft. Have you ever put buttermilk in your mashed potatoes? Oh yeah. Sometimes I'll put regular milk. Sometimes I'll put sour cream. Today, we're gonna put a little bit of buttermilk. It just gives it that tang like sour cream would. <laughs> now looky there. Let's move this out of the way. Mm. And let's move this out of the way. Would you mind grabbing that pot of beans we have sitting over there? I do not mind. Yeah. What a meal. And this has taken us no time to put together. What time did we start? About 4.30. And uh, I think it might have been a little bit later than that. And everything's done. So, I'm going to fix the plate. So let me... Fix at the door. Had to get me one. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Fool her, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of all of this for y'all. Let's make a plate and show them okay. all this good food. You want me to make them? Food. Don't want you to stand right there and eat your, um, mm. that's one less for him to get. Mmm. I like to dip these in mustard. And I'm not a big mustard eater, but they're good. Good on these. And that's what I was telling everybody. I brush mustard on the inside, mm -hmm. but we can dip it in mustard. And uh, did, I didn't show y'all this cabbage after he plated it up. Look at there, how pretty. Mmm. And I know it's going to be delicious. We usually have some of the boar's head spicy mustard. Yeah. It's not real spicy, but uh, you can get it real spicy. But it's delicious on anything like this. That's that deli style mm -hmm. mustard. We put on what salmon? Oh yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's so good. We love to, and he does when we bake a ham. He's usually the one to do it. Ribs and ribs. Put mustard on it. And he'll rub them down in mustard. And if we've got the deli style mustard, that's what he uses. And uh, he's our ham baker. Let's see what we've got here. You're already tasting the sausage. Mm -hmm, that's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going fishing this weekend, so we're going to have to cook some fish. Unless I don't catch any. I want some fresh fish. Do y'all like fish? We do. And it's good for you. Let's try this uh, This cabbage. See, I got a little bite of everything. The cabbage, the onions, the, the bacon. It's all on there. You know it's gonna be hot. Mm -hmm. It all looks good, smells good. Mm. I've got a meal right here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If we have any of these left over, I can take them fishing. With you can them. take them They're fishing. Good. They're good cold, too. Yeah. This is one of those things yesterday, and I'll try to put the link in, might have to go in the comments. I was on the radio show. And our topic was tailgating. And that's one of the things we talked about. Instead of pigs in a blanket, we did hogs in a sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. And they travel easy, and they're good at room temperature, and they're just one of those convenient foods. So y'all try them, try this. It's easy, it's simple. It doesn't take long to pull together a meal for your family. And it's one of those weeknight meals that you can have done in no time. Get the kids fed in the bed, ready for school tomorrow. Or get the hubby ready to go fishing tomorrow. <laughs> all right. We thank y'all so much for all the love and support that y'all have given us. And we really do appreciate it. So come back soon. Join us. Join him. Maybe one day we can get a fishing video up for you guys. And we'll follow him along. And uh, 
catch some fish. Mm -hmm. It's that time of year, the weather's cooling off and it's that time he likes to get out on the lake. So anyway, y'all come join us again. We'll see you next time. Bye everybody.